Hey everyone, it's Jimmy here in Paleo Mountain, looking at some bedrock. bedrock here is very strange it's not like the surrounding rock which is a, a greenstone this is gray it has a uh, it has quartz veins in it there's some quartz down there big quartz vein right there bedrock here is very strange what I'm standing on is a a mound. Uh, it's bare of dirt. There's no dirt on it. Very little. The trees grow right off the rock, into the cracks of the rock. And some dirt collects into around the roots of the trees, but this is what you get underneath your feet. Looks like very ancient ground. It stays bare though. Maybe it's a giant tree or a giant. <laughs> the strange, strange, strange stone. And right down here continues on into the ground quartz veins going through it over to these strange stones There's a mound here. All this quartz surrounds this thing. There's a nice one right there. It's a megalithic standing stone. It points at the horizon over there. This whole side's been pecked in ground. This stone has three sides on it, and it's got a point on it. And it can function as a sighting stone. It took a lot to form it. Three equal sides. When you get down here, get all these artifacts coming out of the ground. A nice hammer stone. This maple tree grew up around all these artifacts and pushed it up. The soil isn't deep here and they all sit on the on the uh, ledge and when a tree grows it pushes up these artifacts or these stones. You can see all the flakes. Who could that be? Very strange. There's another standing stone there, and there's burial, burial mounds on the other side of that. Red ochre mounds. Very strange place. There's more of that bedrock coming out of the ground.
Precambrian, I think. Very strange stone, isn't it? It's one of my favorites. I come out here and sit all the time with my dogs. Everyone have a great day. Paleo Mountain, Vermont.